Good day everyone! Welcome to our TLE class. We are now in quarter 2, week 1. Our topic is about how to interpret a layout plan. At the end of the lesson, you're going to explain the meaning of signs and symbols used in layouting plan for fish processing activities. And also, you're going to interpret layout plan for fish processing area according to standard set. What is fish processing plants? Very good. Fish processing refers to the practices associated with fish and fish products between the time fish are caught or harvested and the time final product is delivered to the customer. Let us learn first the characteristic of a fresh fish. You should know the quality of fish. The eyes are bright and bulging, pupil is velvet, black cornea is transparent, while the eyes of spoiled fish is dull, wrinkled, and second pupil is dull, black cornea is opaque. The gills, or what we call the hasang. This is bright red, covered with slime odor under gill, cover is fresh, while the gills of spoiled fish is dull, brown, or gray with cloudy slime odor. Under gill cover is sour and offensive. The body class is bright, while the spoiled faded. The scales are intact, while stale fish, the scale come off easily. So, natatanggal agad yung kaliskis. Now, let us know the grading of tuna. Grade 1 tuna. This consists of strictly fresh fish processing the following. Eye clear and bright, gills bright red colored, fresh odor, Firm flesh and intact belly walls. Color of the body must be right. Absences of discoloration, loose scale bruises, abrasion cuts, puncture, or other injuries. Grade 2 tuna. This consists of chilled or frozen, quick or sharp, fish which failed to meet the requirements for grade 1. Eyes clear and bright. Gills bright red colored, fresh odor, firm flesh and intact belly walls, normal body color characteristic of the species, absences of discoloration, loose scale brushes, abrasion, cuts, punctures, or other injuries. The grade 3 tuna. This consists of fish which failed to meet the requirements of grade 1 and grade 2 tuna, but which has the following characteristics. Eyes slightly sunken, pupil grayish, gills slightly discolored and shiny, body covered with somewhat milky slime, abdomen and belly walls slightly soaked, odor slightly sour and somewhat like bread or weak acid. Acetic acid. Okay, so what are the fish processing activities? So we have first receiving. This activity includes sorting and grading of raw materials according to size, species, and quality. It also includes segregating suitable from unsuitable ones. So, pinaghihiwalay upon receiving yung mga hindi naman magagamit sa fish processing. Then, second is preparation. This includes the preparatory steps such as scaling, evaporating, washing, cutting, brining, and pre-cooking. The fish by steaming, blanching, or broiling. Now, I'm gonna show you the step in cleaning fresh fish. So first, you're going to 
scaling, cutting, desecrating, but don't forget to wash first before grinding. So next is processing or sterilizing. This activity involves the final processing and complete sterilization of the processed finished product. Storing Storage room is provided for storing finished products such as cane, bottled fish, smoked fish, pickled fish, and other processed fishery products. Proper storage will also extend the shelf life of the product. So, pag mas maganda ang storage room, mas na-extend ang shelf life o yung tagal ng uh, food product. Then, packaging. This processing activity involves the wrapping or enclosing food and base products in bottles or in cans for purposes of protecting and preserving the finished products. And the last one, the labeling. So the purpose of this activity class is to give the correct information about the product. Sino ba gumawa ng product? Saan siya manufactured? And kailan ang expiration? At ano yung mga ingredients? Okay, so how to interpret a layout of ideal processing room? So that is our topic for today. So this is the ideal layout for fish processing room. As you can see, there is processing area, working table, storage, and lecture space. We have the gas cook tops, freestanding sink, sink refrigerator, fire extinguisher, and toilet. So, mahalaga na merong toilet ang isang uh, processing room. So, for your activity number one, self-assessment direction, below is a layout of an ideal processing room. Place the necessary area for processing. Write it in your answer sheet. We're going to write only the answer. Okay. Okay. So, next. How about your activity number two? Go with the flow. The direction class is, below is the flow chart in manufacturing of smoked bangus fish. Fill it with the correct procedure given. Write it in your answer sheet. So, the procedures class are number one, securing of raw materials. Number two, preparing the raw materials. Under the preparing the raw materials, we have splitting, grinding, pre cooking, drying, smoking, cooling, and packaging. Okay, so for your Tago building class, Number one, you're going to draw or cut out pictures of both fresh fish and spoiled fish. Then give the characteristic of each part. So, on the drawing or magka-cut out kayo ng picture ng isang fresh fish at saka yung spoiled o yung bilasang isda. Then, give the characteristic of each part. Number two, take a picture of your output and send it to your TLE group chat. And then, please be guided to the following criteria. So, in reading your output, you're going to see the completeness of parts. We have 25 points. Neatness, 25 points. Submitted on time, 10 points. So, class, I hope that you've learned something today. Goodbye and see you next time. Thank you for watching. Keep safe everyone.